Hey guys, Tony here, Tony B Designs. I'm gonna make a little liquid. So, I'm gonna go to uh, my luminescent brush and just gonna throw down a color right here. So this is basically all part of the how I do my liquid designs, just an explanation. I usually use like the luminescent brush, you know, for a very drastic and very luminescent effect. So I'm gonna twirl right with the liquify tool, do my adjustments here. As you can see, twirling right with those specific adjustments. Now I'm on the first layer right here. I'm gonna do multiple layers. So now I'm going to push it just in random areas, you know, just be loose. Be free with it. Take it however you want it. It's like a purple magenta type of color, but with a luminescent brush. Kind of like turns like very vibrant pink in some spots. So, almost done with the first layer here. All right, now I'm gonna go to another layer and I'm gonna choose another color for contrast. Just a little green right here. Sublime green, super vibrant. Nice and bright the way I like it. Just throw it down in different areas as you see here. Go back to the liquify tool in the adjustments area. And I'm just gonna twirl right again with it here. Just twirl right on everywhere that you put down. Gonna go back to the push method. And go for it. Push it all around. It's like physically pushing it. As you can see, it just starts changing in its liquefied type of manner. And it's already looking kind of cool. I'm digging it. Uh, keep going, keep going, keep pushing. Come on, kick, push. All right. Went to a red, but thought the red didn't look that great. So, you know, going with the orange. Went through it. I'm on another layer, third layer. Look at that. It's like an orange, bam, but it's just so tangerine, it's just so luminescent, so bright, so vibrant. <clears throat> just gonna quickly do this here. Twirl, 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 twirl. Now I'm gonna push it all around. Man, those colors just contrast just amazing. Amazingly, that purple, green, orange, tangerine type of color. Eh, that's kind of messed up. Just keep pushing, keep pushing it in multiple areas. Get it to where you, you think it looks good for your own eye. So just adding a little bit more just to add a little bit more for consistency and just evenness throughout the canvas here. And just gonna push it a little more. I'm not really satisfied with it yet, so that's why I'm still adjusting it. And this is gonna be the final colored layer that I'm gonna do right here. Now I'm just gonna flip flop the layers shuffle them around see what i like you know just having fun with it doing what i know how i do and gonna drop that one underneath the orange the green excuse me so that looks pretty good there basically what i would do now i mean if you want to keep adding different colors you can alpha lock it and just try different experiments, you know. Turning the alpha lock on 
you know you can just it just seals that layer it won't cr you won't be able to draw or paint outside of what you already put down on that layer so it's a very useful tool and I'm just messing around I went to like the airbrush tool so it gives it nice a nice shaded type of look threw in some yellow with that and you can make a couple adjustments just all experimenting right here since I got my layers down you know seeing if I want to just add some more colors in there so it's all about just having that flow wherever it looks good to your eye and as you can just changing up the hue of the color right here you know that looks pretty cool and you can just see these examples of how the painting can change with just editing the hue of the color like so that one actually looks pretty cool right there so my blue green i'm adjusting the brightness the saturation everything just experimenting right here seeing what i like seeing what i don't like if i want to make some painting adjustments with the airbrush you know so just giving you guys just this great example of how quickly you can just make one of these liquid style designs that I just love making so that you know my secrets. Now secrets are revealed. <laughs> but it's definitely fun and Procreate is a very amazing, useful art app. And yeah, just love making just art with the with the liquify. Just tool. So I don't know what the hell I'm doing here either though, but, oh, here we go. Signature time. A little zoom in on the signature, just gonna go with a little, uh, not too creative of a signature, but just a little basic signature. I'm always known for like doing different type of signatures, each and every painting, but it's just fun creating with Procreate on the iPad and I'm just using a regular iPad this is not an iPad Pro so it still produces like pretty good quality though even just for the regular basic iPad that if you don't want to just spend all the money and get an iPad Pro for legit like professional designers do so this works just as great and I'm just like adjusting I'm erasing you know trying to make my points nice and sharp here in different areas of my signature just fix that curve that a little more nice and pointy gonna just adjust that a little bit turn the eraser size down and I'm duplicating that because I'm gonna make a 3d effect with my signature here Turn the alpha lock on. I'm gonna use the bot. Turn the bottom layer into a different color. Drag it like so with the selection tool. I'm gonna do a little color fade though on the top layer of the signature right here, just for a little more added effect. A little pink to orange, a little tangerine type of color. You can get so creative with this app. It's amazing. And that's how you make your liquify paintings with Tony B Designs. It looks pretty cool. Zoom in on it. You can see the very vibrant, vibrant colors that just catch your eye instantly. Thanks for